you guys, in this lesson, we're going to use polygons on a coordinate plane. So polygons are your 3D or your 2D shapes on a coordinate plane means on your grid. So we're going to give you some of the points and you're going to have to find the missing. And then other times you're going to have to graph the whole thing. And then we're going to have to find the area and the perimeter. So for this one, we've got um, some different points and we need to make it into a rectangle. Okay. So remember your lengths are going to be the same and then your widths will be the same because two sides will be the same for this one. So what I always think about is I kind of draw my line coming down this way a little bit and then I have it coming across this way to then being able to see that your missing point is going to be right here. So you can make this into a rectangle and you can count how your lengths and your widths to make sure. So remember you're counting boxes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So those are going to be the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those will be the same. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So obviously for this one, it's making a square because it's going to be six by six. But remember that all squares are rectangles. And we didn't want to say make a square. We wanted you to have to figure that out. So the missing point for this one Remember, you're going to start at your origin, go on your x-axis, x-axis, and then on your y. So this missing point is 1, negative 3. And then we find our area, we find our length and our width, which is 6, and then do 6 times 6 for your length times your width. So our answer would be 36 units squared. Remember, it's still area. And then perimeter is going to be all the way around the outside. So it's going to be 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. Remember, all four sides going around. So it's going to be 24 units. And this isn't squared because it's perimeter. Remember, PAV, perimeter, area, volume, 1, 2, and 3. So let's, let's look at this one. And go ahead and see if you can figure out what the missing point is going to be for this one. So I kind of drew the sides and where they're going to meet. So our missing point is going to be right here. And that is going to be at positive 9 because we're going over 9. And then negative 6. Okay. So let's find our length and our width to be able to find our area. Again, we're counting boxes, not corners. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. By 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be 11 times 8, which is going to give me 88 units squared. And then perimeter is going to be all the way around. So it's 8 plus 8 plus 11 plus 11. Just go ahead and add those up. So it's going to be 16 plus 22, which gives me 38 units. Go ahead and find the missing point for this one and find your area and perimeter and then come back and check it. So for this one, the missing point is going to be right here. Make it into a rectangle. And my length and my width are going to be 4 by 9. So the missing point was 9, 4, because it's in quadrant 1, and then 9, times 4 to get your area. So that's going to be 36 units squared. And this will be 9 plus 9 plus 4 plus 4. It gives me 18 plus 8, which gives me 26 units. So these ones are going to be a little bit different, not a lot different, just a little bit, because we're giving you the points and then you have to tell me the polygon and then find the area in the perimeter. Okay, so remember we're always starting at our origin. So we've got negative 3, negative 2, negative 3, negative 6, negative 6, negative 6, and then negative 6, negative 2. I'm going to connect them all the way around. That is going to be a rectangle. And our length and our width are 3 by 4. So 3 times 4 gives me 12 units squared. And then our perimeter is going to be 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4. Gives me 8 plus 6. Gives me 22 units. 
So go ahead and do the graph the next one. Here's the next one. Go ahead and graph it and go ahead and find the polygon and find your area and your perimeter. So it's going to be negative 3, positive 6. Negative 6, positive 6. Negative 3, negative 2. Coming down and around. And then negative 6, negative 2. So I know that one, I would kind of just go ahead and graph all four points and then connect them. That's also going to be a rectangle. So it is going to be 3 by 8. Gives me 24 units squared. And then the perimeter is going to be 8 plus 8 plus 3 plus 3. So 6 plus 16 gives me 22 units. So go ahead and check your unit plan and do the next thing on the list.